Fedora is dead. The legendary movie star was killed last night in the suburb of Paris when she either jumped or fell under a train. Today on Alt Cinema, we're going to be talking about Fedora. Fedora is Billy Wilder's last great masterpiece. And maybe it's a movie you've never heard of. And maybe there's a good reason you've never heard of it. Unfortunately, the film was made by a German production company, and it never really found the kind of release in the United States that it deserved. Uh, plus, it had some troubles in terms of its casting, in terms of even its story, which was relatively complicated, and uh, for the 1978 world, fresh from the successes of Jaws and Star Wars, there was not that much of an appetite for movies that were merely well-crafted and merely thought-provoking. Instead, they, there was a desire for movies that had a lot of that flying glass, no brain, brain or bling. Uh, sort of a harbinger of what would happen to Hollywood over the next 40 years. Nevertheless, it's a film worth revisiting because it makes you think a lot about the whole uh, business of film and the whole business of celebrity, and uh, especially in the way that people are so celebrity obsessed today, not that they never were uh, before, but, but it's, it's even more so today because there's a kind of instant celebrity that's available through YouTube and, and, and other venues that wasn't even dreamed of in the worst nightmares of the publicists of the past. The story of Fedora is, is, is really interesting in terms of what it attempts to do, in terms of, of, of narrative manipulation and in terms of experimenting with form and content. And, and even looking backwards at, at the nature of self-reflexivity, which is the industry looking back on itself. Uh, certainly Billy Wilder who had one of the most illustrious careers in showbiz, one would hope would have had a very, very wonderful send-off. But like Alfred Hitchcock, like so many before him, his, the later part of his career was really disappointing. And, and um, one, one can only imagine what it would have been like if he even had the resources that were available to him when he did the remake of The Front Page in 1974, uh, how much better this film might have been. But, uh, you know, that's all blood under the bridge. So let's, let's talk about what Fedora really is about. What a movie for Billy Wilder to attack because it, it, it contains so many elements that were familiar from Sunset Boulevard, that were familiar from the apartment, that were familiar from his, his very bleak worldview and, and, and what becomes of people. And, and, and in many ways, Fedora is even more bleak than Sunset Boulevard. And, 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 and it, it's told in a way that was narratively extremely experimental. We start with a Fedora throwing herself in front of a train, and then we flash back to a news reporter talking about how she died and how her funeral is going to be this big event. Well, at least she was going out in style. What with the spotlights and the fiddlers and the honor guard with feathers in their helmets and all those TV cameras like it was some goddamn premiere. And at the funeral, we meet Max and, and uh, this, this weird family that had surrounded Fedora. And like a film noir hero, Max goes backwards in time and talks about how a couple of weeks before he had come to, to offer Fedora a, um, a, a, a part uh, in, in a remake he was doing of Anna Karenina. And, uh, and, and how this led to the, the trail of events that, that ended in her suicide. And we find that before Detweiler became a big producer who now can't get a job, very reminiscent of what Wilder was going through at that same point in his career, he had met Fedora when they were on the set of a movie and she'd been filming a rather scandalous scene and had been upset that he had not been uh, more, more attentive to her. And the two of them had had pretty much a one-night stand on the beach at Santa Monica where he'd introduced her to hamburgers. And, 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 and then they just never, never had a real opportunity to work together again. During the course of that two weeks, he gets familiar with what Fedora has become. And it looks like she has become someone who is being held prisoner by, uh, by her, her ex-husband and by this old countess who, who lives on the island. And they're not letting her out. 
and uh, Detweiler runs into her at a, a camera shop where she's trying to buy a film that's very, very expensive. And, and, and he clearly sees there's something wrong with her, that there's something in her behavior that's off. And by continually pressing himself on the, the, the people, he, 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 he learns that, that, that in spite of the fact that she's still marvelous looking for, for her age, that, that, that she's, she's, being, she's either gone completely insane or, or there, there's something that, that's off about her. And sure enough, uh, because he gets together with her, because she looks at him as someone who can maybe even be a, 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 a means for her to access the drugs that she is clearly so dependent on, she shows up at his hotel room. And in the showing up of her hotel room, she is caught by the doctor and, 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 and the countess and, 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 and brought back. And, and it is during that period that she commits suicide. Now the movie does something that is very, very risky from a creative standpoint, and that is we come to the funeral. And, and really, we, we expect the movie to be wrapping up. But instead, it's not even halfway over. And this might be one of the reasons that audiences objected to it, because uh, you're, you're kind of expecting it to wrap up, and then it goes on for another, another hour. But, but it is this hour that is so fascinating, because we get the flashbacks to what really happened and, and, and what the secret of Fedora is. Now, since this movie is 40 years old, I don't think I'm spoiling anything, because guess what? If you haven't seen it before, you're probably not going to uh, be that surprised or that offended by, by the fact that I'm going to tell you what, what, what the secret is. The secret is is that the woman who committed suicide wasn't Fedora. The woman who committed suicide was Fedora's daughter, the daughter she could never admit she had and, and that she'd been estranged from, from for a number of years, but who had been reunited with her after she had had, after Fedora herself had had a plastic surgery operation that failed. So she became this scarred old crone and, 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 and it was only after her career was no longer even an option that she and Antonia, her daughter, were able to be reunited. And in the middle of their reuniting, in the middle of their, their, their opportunity to, to reconnect, all of a sudden she's offered a chance to win an honorary Oscar. Fedora's offered a chance to win an honorary Oscar, but she knows she can't appear in public. And they come up with a scheme where Antonia will accept the award and, and act like she's Fedora, only marvelously preserved. And of course, the, 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 the interview where she, uh, that, that she does with Henry Fonda proves to be such a sensation that the offers start coming back in and they decide to continue this ruse that Fedora is still alive that, and still beautiful and still, and still attractive. And, and she reignites her career. Um, and sure enough, this leads to Antonia getting weirded out because what started as a, as a fun lark is now becoming real. And then she realizes not only is it real, it will never end. And at one point, she is reminded that Fedora, this, this new personality she's taken on, will not only uh, not last past the death of the real Fedora, but her own death. And it is this realization that she has now lost her identity forever that, that makes Antonia jump in front of that train. You mean it's going to go on like this until the day she dies? No, until Fedora dies. And you are now Fedora. Oh. Yes, she was in love with Michael York. Yes, she would have loved to tell him her secret uh, because he was clearly interested in this woman and was probably a little freaked out that he's in love with this woman who's in her late 50s or early 60s and, and he's still at his prime. But, 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 but to, to run the risk of ruining the illusion of Fedora is what cannot happen. And 
we see the true price that stardom can provide and we see the monstrosity that can be created that is far worse than Norma Desmond. Norma Desmond was, was merely a little bit deluded and I hate to say it because, because when we look at Sunset Boulevard through the eyes of, let's say, somebody who is now older than Norma Desmond, we, we actually see that it's very different, a movie, than when we saw it when we were young. When we were young, we look at Sunset Boulevard and think, oh, this poor guy, he's a talented writer and he's having to work for this Gorgon. And we're not seeing that the real tragedy is that you have this great star who still has incredible camera charisma, can still do great imitations of Charlie Chaplin. And, and, and we see her old films and we see what a luminary she is and we see that she's reduced to having to pick up this, this second-rate writer who's writing Betty Hutton musicals and as, 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 as someone who is, is, is her consort. Remember that the guy who made her a star, her director, is so still in love with her that he's willing to be her servant. And, 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 and now she's having to see this, 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 this low-level guy run off with, with someone who's using him the way he was using her, that, that young screenwriter uh, chick who's, who's going to be part of his world uh, and, and abuse him as much as he was abusing uh, her. Yes, that's bad. But think about how much worse it is to be a star who looks at your daughter and says, no, my legend, my legend of Fedora is so important that I'm going to put you, my own child, as a sacrifice. And she worked like a dog, running the old pictures at night until she got everything down pat, every movement, every inflection. Naturally, it took a lot of other preparations. The trick was not just to make her look more like me, but to make her look older than she actually was. What kind of cockamamie representation is this of Hollywood to, to even present in a slightly sympathetic way parents who would do this to their kids, to, to be so willing to sacrifice uh, your, your, your own child to this maniacal machine that demands perfection, that demands youth, that demands uh, that this, this kind of, 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 of creepiness and, and only for an ephemeral moment. And yet we can't help but understand Fedora herself who, who clearly went through a lot to achieve what she did. And, and, and who is so caught up in the memory that, that seemed to have been lost to her that, that, that she would even consider doing this. And at the very end, Max is willing to let that legend stay. I know you will keep all this to yourself for old time's sake. Too bad, because this would have made a much better picture than the script I brought you. Yes. But who would you get to play it? Because he understands all too well how important it is that that illusion be kept, that the illusion of Fedora is, is, is what keeps the business alive. And it's a business that to Max, at this point, can't even get him car fare, that he's having to borrow money from his ex-wife and that he's having to to be desperate. What a sad vision of Hollywood was portrayed, and what a timely one for us today. Six weeks later, the woman who called herself the Countess Sobriansky died peacefully on the island of Corfu. The news rated one short paragraph in the local paper. The electric blanket I had sent her came back undelivered.